shit hat. What's up guys? YouTube, what's going on? Big Auto Repair here. So, today, what am I working on? Looks like a 2010 Land Rover LR2. Now, with this car, there's a problem with the AC blowing hot. As you can see, I had it on full blast and I had it commanded on, so it was blowing hot. So now I'm just gonna troubleshoot and we'll see what's going on, we'll see why it's blowing hot air. So, first thing, let me pop the hood. Okay, I got the hood open. I wanna check to see if the AC compressor kick on. I just wanna see if the uh, clutch is engaged. So let me find my flashlight. Looking around, hoping that the AC compressor was down there, but these cars are different. This is actually a uh, inline five cylinder. No, inline six cylinder. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. No, uh, have an inline six. Here's the AC compressor right here. All right, so I want to see if it's engaged. Now, see why I'm shining, the light is shining real bright right there. That's the clutch on the AC. Now, it, it's supposed to magnetize and spin with the, uh, the pulley itself. But this tells me that, you know, the compressor is not engaged right now. It's not generating any pressures, period. So, uh, next thing in this step, I'm going to hook up my AC manifold gauge set. And I want to check the pressures on the hot and cold side. Okay, so you want to find your, uh, I'm going to find where we service ports for it. So, this is an LR2, 2010 by the way. So, it's one right here. And the other one is in this cow, so you pop this cover off. Just like that, as you can see, it's right here. Twist your cap off. Now that I got those off, I just wanna take my AC manifold gauge set, which is this thing, and I'm gonna hook them up, and I'll show you in a second. Okay, so we have a hook right here that hooks up to well, this car. It's a little slightly different, but I'm gonna hook it up as best as I can. All right, so I'm on there. Let me twist mine around. Now, we have the blue, cold, red, hot. Now, it's not color coordinate on here, so. So when you see the service port that looks like that in size, and then you have the other one down there that looks like that. See how they two different sizes? Okay. So they go in one way. You can't fuck up. So don't worry. So if it don't fit, just go to the next fitting. So looks like my low side is right here. Just uh, squeeze squeeze back on this spring loaded. And push down, it's locking the place. All right, that's in place. Make sure the bob is closed, turn to the left. Next, gonna hook up the hot side. Now, before you hook these uh, the gauges up or you open a valve, make sure you get, get out residual pressure because if you already got pressure that's in here, and then try to check pressures, that's gonna increase the pressure and throw your readings off. So make sure everything is zeroed out. So, I look good. Now, I'm gonna start the car up. Okay, engine is running. Now I'm gonna open my valves. As you can see, that didn't do anything. Let me open up the other one. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Okay, so, the cold side is reading at 10 PSI. The hot 
is damn near zero. So what this reading tells me that there is possibly a leak in the system. Now, next, to figure out where the leak is located at, it ain't like you could just search around the lines and see if you could see the leak. Yeah, if you had dye, but I don't know if there's dye in the system. Now, these certification labels that they put on a car sometimes will tell you if they put dye in here. This didn't tell me they put dye in here. So, I got my own. 134A leak sealer plus UV dye. Now, you can get this. I got this from Advanced Auto Parts. Forget how much it costs, under 20 bucks. Uh, together with these two, it was 20, cost me uh, 27 bucks. For you, I don't know how much I have an account. Now, okay, when I wanna check for leaks, I wanna always fill it up with dye because there could be multiple leaks. There could be just one leak. You never know where it's coming from, but just to be certain, and so you can do the job correctly. When you have a leak in AC systems, always put dye in it. Not only do you need the dye, you know, make sure you got the correct refrigerant. This R134A, everyone calls it Freon, whatever you want to call it. And you know, before we put these two in, we just need to know how much the system holds. So look on your label right here, it says, uh, don't worry about the grams, don't worry about the ounces. So it says 25.7 ounces plus or minus 0.35 ounces. Now, I don't have a scale. Some guys use a scale. You can. I go by pressure readings on the high side, so I know how much the compressor can hold or take. So both ways are good, but like I said, I use pressure readings. So on this can, it says 12 ounces. In this can, it says, you know, 10 and a quarter. So I'm not close to 25 yet but I'm only checking for a leak so that's enough to fill it up almost and you know like I said we can figure out where our leak is coming from so technically this will be a waste but I need to figure out where my leak is coming from okay this is the part that could be most confusing to everybody because you know they want to know well how do I put the free on how much do I put in am I doing it right well you watch this video right you'll know my way or you can watch anybody else's video everyone has different ways of recharging the ac system this is my way of course if i was at a dealership i'll you know have the uh, the robin air machine where it recovers vacuum recharge and that oil all in one but i don't have that machine i have this this is good enough this is feasible so to fill it up first thing i'm going to do is i want to disconnect my low side hose Take that off. Leave your high side on. You can leave the valve open. It closes up to you. Got that off. Now, I want to put this in first. This already comes with the hose with a quick connect. So it's pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, to get this, uh, the hose on, just, you can take this out. It comes out easily once you take the, uh, the cover off. Pop that on. Now, don't worry about anything leaking because this don't even have anything in the system. So gonna line it up on here same way you took it off got that in there now we're gonna turn the car on make sure you got the air on full blast Turn the command and compressor on too. Just walk back to the engine. Now, I got this hooked up right. Now you gotta be careful with these. These things leak, but that's fine. Just pay attention and make sure it don't shoot everywhere. If it do, use your common sense. So, shake it up a little bit be careful not to yank the hose and then i'm just going to squeeze on the trigger and you'll see the green dye come out and you should see the low side reading go up no i'm sorry <laughs> i took the low side off you should see the the hot side go up so let's go not only that you should hear the compressor kick on uh-oh we on Pressure's going up on the hot side. Now I'm gonna use this whole can.
Okay, so I'm done with this can. Next, I'm gonna put this in here. Now, see how it's capped off, not capped, but it's fully sealed? Now, my setup is different. My setup is ghetto. So, let's get that in. Advanced Auto, they sell low side hoses that you can put on the can. And the valve is it's up, so it's, op it's uh, open. There is a, you know, like a needle. When you twist the valve, it uh, pierces this. So this is how the pressure gets released. So we're just gonna twist this on. And, um, make sure it's tight. You don't have, it doesn't have to be tight as hell, but once it's stopped, it's tight. We're gonna hook it up to the low side service port again. It should look like this. Valve is up. That means it's all the way backed off to the left. Now, I'm gonna take my uh, quick connect and hook it up to the service port. careful how you handle one of these things. Come on there. Now, I'm just gonna twist my valve until it opens. And I wanna use the whole thing because I still got a couple ounces till it's filled. But like I said, I'm just figuring out where the leak is in the system. Once you got this valve bottomed out, now, next step, it's not filling up anything yet. Now you already punctured the hole for the pressure and you're gonna back it off and that releases everything, that releases the refrigerant. And like I said, your needle should go up. Now we're gonna watch our pressures. Normal pressures on the high side are 150, between 150 and 300. Cold side is 20 to 50, but we're gonna worry about that once we get that hooked back up. Now, I, I need my other hands. So I want to put the camera. So the, the next scene, you should see me uh, having it upside down just like this, kind of shaking it a little bit. And I'm just, I'm just using a whole can. So that's open. <laughs> Sucking it out fast as hell. Just kind of shake it a little bit every now and then. I'm gonna keep that just like this. I'm gonna watch my, my hot side. So good. Like I said, use the whole can. Now I'm going to check my air in the car. I want to see if it's getting cold. Cold in some type of way. Let me go in here. Alright, so the air is getting colder. That's a good thing. Next, once this is completely empty, um, you just want to twist your valve, you know, close, you want to just twist it back in. And um, actually, you could just disconnect it when you're ready. I'm just going to disconnect this. And you'll get a little discharge. That's cool. All right, next, let me hook back up a low side gauge. Open the valve up and check my readings. Check my air again, make sure it's nice and cold. And I'm gonna tell you what to do next after that. So, like I said, base readings 20 to 50, to 50 to 3, 150 to 300. Everything looked good. So, let me check my air in the car again. Oh man, we nice and we nice and cool. Feel like motherfucking igloo in here. All right, cool. The car charged back up again. AC die in here. So now I want to see if I can find a leak. To check for leaks, you need two things: you need yellow goggles, glasses, and you need a uh, a black light. You call it a purple light, but it's a black light, and it looks like that. Now, when you got stuff, when you got this kit um, works like um, with your glasses, put them on. You know, you want to check here. You know, check where the fitting's at. Check your hoses. 
check the connection going to the AC compressor. You want to check the um, the condenser that's located in there, and you know check your service ports. They leak sometimes too. Um, pretty much for this type of uh, diac, I will have to do a separate video on how to locate a leak with uh, dye in the system and using the other uh, glasses and a black light. But for this car, um, it has a small leak. I wasn't able to identify it right away, so this car is gonna get shipped out. Um, I'm just gonna have to have it come back so I can further diagnose it. But for now, it's good, but I am expecting it to come back. Guys, keep in mind, I did not vacuum the AC system. Um, a vacuum pump, if you're curious on what that is or you know, what is it? Dude, this is a, a vacuum pump right there. You can get that from Harbor Freight. Now, like I said, I didn't vacuum out the system because I'm expecting for it to uh, to come back, and I'm pretty much wasting free iron to figure out where the leak is coming from.